in 2010, I had the privilege to work with a number of the groups that are here to um, take on the Nestle issue in the gorge and to meet with the people in Cascade Locks and have a conversation with them. We had a good conversation. I met with some of their uh, city council people, but in the end, we agreed to disagree that um, selling our water for jobs is not the discussion we want to have in this state. So I'm happy to be here today to support this because we know that we are facing a planetary crisis on many fronts, but none hits home so closely as water. We cannot live without fresh water. It's a shared legacy, a public trust, and a co collective responsibility to ensure that our water remains pure and we have access to it, and all have access to it. Selling water to private companies who then bottle it and resell it back to us is wrong. To allow Nestle's or any other company to take water from one of the gorge's watersheds where fish are currently using it and trucking it through the gorge, which already has some smog issues when we have our wonderful sunny days, is not only unnecessary for our needs, but a violation of belief that water is a human right. is bad for the environment. It takes up to 2,000 times, 2,000 times, more energy to produce a gallon of bottled water than a gallon of tap water. Manufacturing America's water bottles consumes 17.6 million barrels of oil each year. It keeps us dependent on the oil industry. And about three gallons of water are used to produce one gallon of bottled water. And not only is it using up a valuable resource, but only 25% of the bottled water out there gets recycled. I'm sure everybody's heard about the islands of plastic floating in our oceans. So not only are we selling a public resource water, we are causing more damage to our ecosystem and unnecessarily using other resources to create the bottled water. Bottled water presents health and safety issues Chemical additives in the plastic bottles often cause diseases such as obesity, early puberty, and breast cancer. It's also a waste of money. Bull Run, our beautiful water, there's some of it over there. We have one of the best uh, water sources in the country. We have pristine water to drink out of. Does this make sense that we're gonna take our water, sell it to a corporation who ships it somewhere else and then sells it back to us? When you calculate the cost for a, for a gallon of bottled water, we're paying more than we pay for a gallon of gasoline, and we all don't like what we have to pay for gasoline. Tap water costs less than one cent a gallon. Why are we spending that kind of money? We've been duped by the marketing, by the advertising. It's one of the greatest hoaxes that have ever been played on the American people. are going to be footing the bill for the transportation costs of 200 trucks a day taking these bottles in and out. We already know the budget crisis we have in this state. We don't have money to waste on unnecessary things like bottled water. I'm pleased to say that there are local governments who are doing something about this. In 2010, I joined with my colleagues at Multnomah County to ban using taxpayer dollars to buy bottled water in Multnomah County within the government, Clark County. Clark County and uh, Vancouver have also joined in, just in Multnomah County alone, by not paying for bottled water inside our organization, we are saving $20,000. Now we know $20,000 could buy some more beds for homeless families, it could buy some more food. We don't need to be spending on things that we don't need. When I walked by the water fountain today uh, at one of the floors at Multnomah County, uh, it said 46,000. And that's a, a water fountain that was put in so that people could walk by with their own bottles of waters, not by bottled water. And so that fountain alone has saved over 46,000 bottled water, the equivalent of bottled water. So if, if Oregon continues 
continues down this road of bottling water and selling it, we're breaching the public trust doctrine. Yeah. Yep. This would be the first time a state agency hands over water to Nestle. It's a breach of the public trust that we've, en we've entrusted to our elected officials for them to do that. It's basically a privatization of a public natural resource, one that we and other species need to survive. 30,000 Oregonians have told the governor, do not allow this to happen. But as the sign says, he's not taking a stand. He's staying in neutral. We need to ask the governor to advise the state agency that he oversees to not allow this to go forward. The state should pull out of the water exchange process in Cascade Locks. Yeah. We do not want our water sold to a public, to a private corporation so they can make money by selling it back to us at the cost of more than we would pay for it out of our taps. And there's no crypto meridian. So we need to continue to stand firmly and say no to allowing Nestle or any other private com company to bottle our water. I really thank you for being here. Let's keep up the pressure on the governor. And thank you again for being here.